So yeah, anyway, I finally did look it up. I should have looked it up when I was on site. And like I said, the dumb broad yesterday talking about uh, they're not required to provide water where adults. See, it goes to say, show what I'm saying about these stupid people. They're, they're dangerous, man. That they're, they're dangerous. That's how. In order, like petty shit, grade school shit, middle school shit. No, you're the dummy. See what I'm saying? Like they're trying to prove that I'm, you know, because I call them idiots. And, and what they're doing on the level of actually, like academically, you know, they like they might bring up something, ask me a question about a spelling of a word, you know, like that proves they're not an idiot. Well, and obviously, clearly, what I'm talking about is committing crimes. And so they, they're, they're like I said, their feelings hurt. But instead of Okay, I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to do stupid shit in front of people, in front of a person I know who's looking to record me doing something stupid. He's told me this over and over again. You know, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to do that. Instead, you keep, you, you continue on like that's going to make me stop. Like, oh, you know what? Make me, maybe I should just let them continue to harass me. You know what? <laughs> These people aren't stupid. You know, no, that doesn't make me go, oh, you know what? They aren't stupid. And like I said, this woman, it's like they're, they're dangerous. They don't even care about their own careers. It's like, it's not a career. Okay, she works in a temp agency. It's a job. But you're working behind the desk. You're not going out doing the bullshit we're doing. You know, you're sending us out to work. And you're risking your little stupid job going to prison, federal prison. We can get to prove a case about gang stalking and harassment. For these people, what do they have on y'all that y'all are this fucking stupid and blatant that y'all don't care? You'll say stupid shit about workplace rules, and I was I knew I was right. These are OSHA regulations, and and, and even regular people know working at a job. You know that because it was it happened last year at one of those jobs I was working with for the temp services. They called OSHA. You know that's it's a joke. Somebody called OSHA on their ass, and they do, and they come through. It's just like. No, OSHA came through and shut their ass down. You know, that's the running joke. Oh, you want to be an asshole? Okay, supervisor. <laughs> you know, I got something for you. <laughs> yeah, it might be petty, but also, like, like a lot of us say, no, it's really some dangerous shit going on, and, and y'all fucking up. And like I said, it's about to be midsummer. Well, it was nowhere near right now. It's, what, April? In about a month and a half, it's going to be, what, constantly, consistently 100 degrees, and this bitch talking about, no, they're not required to p provide water, you're an adult, bring your own water to the job. Bitch, those are OSHA regulations. They're required to provide not just drinking potable water, but um, to use the bathroom, water to wash your hands when you use the bathroom. I mean, over there, those are the regulations. I guess, you know, nowadays I've seen inside porta pies, they got the uh, little sanitation job. Uh, job. Uh, jobby hand and jobby things but the point is i mean this bitch blatantly said in front of 14 people yesterday they're not required to bring you water or to provide water on a job site and i had never never in all these years i've been you know whatever working in whatever i was doing never seen nothing like that when somebody said we're not required they're not required you know and like it's a fucking joke like, like, we're complaining, oh, yo, oh, oh, gosh, now you want water. Oh, God, well, next thing you're going to want fucking beer or something. You know, like, like, it's that level. Like, we're just complaining. I'm like, nobody's fucking complaining. None of these guys I was talking about, they were ex-felons, or they're still felons, but uh, ex-cons, none of them, they, we had conversations, you know, they're like, no, nah, they're not complaining. They still do the job. They're not calling, oh, you're trying to slave us. You know, nah, they, they, they know the difference between... Like they even said, it. I know the difference between, you know, him asking us to do stupid shit or, or just dogging us up, talking down to you and someone who just blatantly just don't want to do the job complaining. Oh, I don't want to do this shit. It's not enough money. You know, we all like shit. If you feel that way, just leave, you know, shit, quit. It's a temp service anyway. You ain't even got to quit. Just leave. You can literally leave. It ain't going to go on your record like a job where you got a list of references. You know, oh, he, he quit. That's what I, he walked out. No. Nah, 
I mean, if you do it all the time and, and you know, if you have to put down well, where you've been for the last two, three years, well, so-and-so's temp service and, you know, if the, it's going to be in your record. Well, he always leaves and we had to stop sending him out on jobs, he or she. But the thing is, this isn't, that's, the, that's what I'm saying about how stupid these people are nowadays. Almost everybody I run across, total strangers, thinks the same way. Nobody's complaining. Black people, white people, whatever. Nobody, everybody, everybody's on that level. Hey, we just gonna long. It's, it, hey, we just gonna get the job done. We're not gonna give the supervisor. We're not gonna, you know, not we're not, uh, you know, being played. You can tell when, uh, no, nah, being played. Yeah, somebody says that we, we motherfucker might have to get ghetto. You know, I heard arguments. You know, just recently. Hey, fuck you, nigga. You know, both of them going at each other. Supervisor and one of the dudes. I'm fuck you or both of them back and, back and forth at each other. But they went back to work. Both of them, you know, ain't, you know, send them home or nothing. Some dudes do uh, go home for the day. But really, it's over with because everybody bust out laughing at both of them. You know, it's like, hell, man, they shouldn't get the fighting up front. But the point is, as long as, you know, that motherfucker ain't trying to play you. Ain't nobody, what I'm saying is, it's like these people are out of touch. It's like nobody nowadays is complaining or, or whining. You know, people know the difference. So when you're trying that gang stalking shit, they automatically uh, make it, like I said, with like water. Basic thing like water. Like I'm just a, a whiny motherfucker. And they're, they're, they're real men sucking it up. You know, it's like the one I remember. When I, I, I only had been in the army about a couple of months, and people, uh, a lot of the guys were talking about going to ranger school, and the guy was telling me he talked to a ranger, you know, like sometimes you might have to go without water for three days, right? And the ranger told him, you know, you don't, it doesn't, it's not something that you can condition your body for, not water. It's not, you know, like some people you can slow your heart rate, or you know, no, water you're gonna die, period. At the most four days, but if you're in good shape, no, that's nothing that that's not something you can train for. You can be, you know, like you, you used to couldn't lift bench press 200 pounds. You only could bench press 110. Now you train and you can now you can do 200 easily. You know, reps like you know it's not. Oh, I, I uh, not drinking water is not something you can condition. Nobody can. Rangers, uh, Navy SEALs. He said you might get used to it. You get used to the, you know, for the three three days or whatever, you'll get used to not having what, but it's that sensation, but it's not something that you can overcome. No, it's not a fucking game about being a hundred about water. That's what I'm saying. These motherfuckers are stupid and dangerous. That the stupidity to say something like that, it's just fucking stupid. I mean, it, it's just plain, and then they get mad and want to keep coming back with little petty shit, trying to prove that, you know, make me feel like I'm the one that's stupid, and it's like, you're even dumber for risking getting your ass beat, and I'm still going to, you know, put you on blast for being stupid, and you got embarrassed twice, you got your ass beat, you got to go nurse yourself back to health, and who are these people that got y'all doing this stupid shit, and, and for a lot of y'all doing it for nothing. You still got to work. You're still living right here. I mean, shouldn't you out? This shit, if I'm committing a crime this big on a federal level, shit, bitch, you better put me in a fucking penthouse. Not no damn apartment like this. Uh, a fucking uh, a Mustang, uh, uh, a Dodge, a uh, GMC, bitch. You, I better be in a motherfucking AMG, uh, Mercedes, $100,000. If I'm the fucking gang stalking, harassing people, making people, uh, committing murder. Murdering motherfuckers, you got me being a murderer, shit, and, and, and all I got is a fucking Mustang, and I still got to go to work, and all I do is live in this apartment, <laughs> shit, bitch, you crazy, y'all motherfuckers stupid as hell, ain't no way in hell, you know, like this bitch, she's stupid, you still out here painting, and, 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 and most of these motherfuckers don't even speak English, it, it doesn't matter, but, and, and I still got to come out here and paint, and, all this shit, y'all motherfuckers crazy, and I'm a gang stalker too. If I'm, you know what I'm saying? Not I am. If I, if I'm y'all, ain't no way in hell. Y'all lost y'all fucking minds, fucking retards.